Yeah, so I was just um, showing you here, I don't know what happened to the sound when I recorded it, um, but I was just showing you that on the recipe card it shows you exactly what you need um, and there are all the things that are included um, and that was just the finished result. So I'm just going to have a little chat to you about um, Gusto. Um, I'm just going to do one of the meals um, and then what I'll do when I sit down and have a chat after tea, uh, I'll tell you a bit more about it. But so basically what you what you get is you get everything you need for the recipe. Um, the only things that the don't supply are like store cupboard things that you would have in any way. Like, olive oil, salt, sugar, vegetable oil. Um, so it gives you, so you, like I say, you get everything you, you need for the recipe in the box. Um, we get, we're actually um, getting another one on Saturday. So when that comes on Saturday, I'll record like me opening that so you can see like exactly how they come. Uh, when it came the other day, we worked very well, so we just put it in the fridge. But yeah, so anyway, so all you do, you get your recipe card out. Um, and then each recipe has a number. And it gives you a list here of what you need for the recipe. And like I said, extras that you don't get. So I'm just going to check that I've got everything out that I need for this recipe. So one red chilli, yep, two spring onions, oh we've got some spices and things. You also, for most recipes, you get one of these little bags um, and this is the bits and bobs you can see there. Uh, it says 6532 and that's for two people and on the recipe as well it's 6532. So I'll open this, I'll come back. So looking back on the um, recipe card, so a teaspoon of five spice. So we've got that there and it gives you um, the exact amount that you need. So that is weighed out and ready for you. Um, peanut butter we've got, basmati rice we've got. Uh, toasted sesame oil. Ice cream vinegar. Yeah, toasted sesame oil. Two soy sauce. Yeah. Half cucumber. One gem lettuce. Uh, rice vinegar. Sesame seeds. And last but not least, king prawns. So what I'm going to do, so then literally you turn over um, onto the back and it gives you, so we're doing the instructions for two. And it literally tells you step by step um, what to do. So step one, it says boil the kettle, add the rice to the cold water, Bring it to the boil. Once boiling, reduce the heat and cook for 10 to 15 minutes. Right, so first of all, that's the first thing I'll do. Um, and then I'll get everything else prepped and then I'll start working through the steps. Thank you. 
Yeah, she's got to give these a quick water before it gets really dark. Missing, haven't I? I've had a um, funny few weeks, funny few months. Um, yeah, 
I know I've been um, definitely not very present the last couple of weeks. Um, I've just had, well, we've had a few bits to get sorted here. Um, and I've had a few like bits that I needed to get sorted and things like that. But, um, and I've also not had some not very good days. I've been like really tired and things like that. And, um, but that that's another another side of it. Um, I'm just absolutely today. I've just the my hair fever is just going absolutely crazy today. Um, sorry. So I apologise if I keep sniffing and keep stopping to blow my nose. But yeah, I just wanted to come and have just a quick um catch up really with you. Um, I've done a bit of a vlog today. You'll have seen just. Um, what I've been up to today, we just we went to Kirsty's, um, popped to Matalan for because my my mum wanted to pop in and get my dad some shorts. Um, came back here, and then we um, me and Ross um took the dogs to the park, but uh, my legs were starting to ache a bit, so we went in the car. Um, and we just walked like to, there's like a little island in, in our local park. And we, like, obviously there's only like one way on and the rest of it's just an island. So we just went and like went there and just sat there and uh, I took a coffee with me and we just enjoyed like just being out really and enjoying the weather. Uh, and then we came back and for, we've lived in this house for, eight year and there's a pub just at the bottom of the road just literally neither like on the race course we're well, not on the race course but like literally at the side of the race course um and i think we've been there twice three times maximum since we moved in here and i said to ross i said why don't we just like go down without the dogs you know just me and you and just go and have a like sit outside just have a drink have a catch up and you know just without the dogs and without anything you know just and it was really nice and it's literally just at the top of like not our road but the top of like a like the road at the bottom of our sort of thing um so it's literally minutes um we went there and then we came back and Caden hadn't been out to play football tonight with his friends. So we got um, we got in the car and I dro drove around the field and obviously the dogs had a mad runabout. And Caden and Ross had a, like, a kickabout in there. Because at the, oh, the field I go to, sorry, um, you might, I, I don't know if you've, you've probably seen it on a couple of my vlogs, but there's like... A big field and then there's like a little field inside like fenced off inside and the dog walking bits like round the outside and then the bit in the middle is like for kids and there's two like goals so obviously Ross and Caden were playing in there I've got a little bit of footage actually I'll put that in now um of just when we were at the field oh yeah just having a Five minute pop to the field. Yeah. Ross and Caden having a kick about. Rock's found a ball that was already popped, so it's no good to anyone. But let's see if I can try and get it off him, <laughs> throw it. Yeah, we've just come here for five minutes, and then we're gonna. Head on. Call <laughs> me. <laughs> yeah, and then we're going to head on. Have something to eat. And have a nice early night.
yeah so we just went there um came back tried to get some food sorted um we'd um saved up a bit of money this month for a takeaway just for a, like we literally haven't had a takeaway for so so long but we've just ordered um tonight and it's getting really late now and i just want to sleep now um but i've just ordered a pizza but we've been using the um gusto we got i don't know if if any of you have heard of it i don't know if it's just a uk thing i'm assuming it is um but um there'll, there'll be things like that in in other countries um it's kind of it's just like the hello fresh but we got um, a discount code to use and it was 65% off. Um, Caden wasn't here at the weekend. He was, his, he was at his granny's for like the whole weekend. So what I did was I ordered like just meals for me and Ross. So we got four meals for both of us, like to serve two people. Um, and it was £12 and that included delivery um so it worked out it worked out about i think it was 12 pound 25 for the four like different meals um and there were generous portions as well for the like the food uh but there was plenty there and um, we've had a couple so far we've had the uh sweet and smoky fajitas they were really nice them um, um and like i say you get everything that you need so you got like all your veg you get your meat and everything you know and for three pound there's no way you know you, you couldn't buy all them ingredients for three pound um we had this is we had this last night the bang bang king prawns i wasn't a real big fan of this but i'm not really a massive fan of prawns um so that wasn't one of my favourites. But the sweet and smoky fajitas were delicious. And we also had this chicken primavera, I think it is. Primavera. don't know if that's how you pronounce it. Primavera. Yeah. Um, with the uh, orzo pasta. And that was so good. And... There was absolutely, I mean, I had a good size bowl. I didn't have like a tiny little portion. I had a good size bowl and Ross had plenty. So there's well plenty for, you know, for two people. We we didn't, I think one night, oh, with the chicken fajitas, when we had that that night, I think we had one of the little cheese pots and some bread. But with the other things, we just ate them. Um, and the next one we've got, which I'm really looking forward to, um, we've got Sunday roast beef burger with horseradish and gravy. Um, and that's what we've got tomorrow. And that sounds really nice. And like I say, so you get like all the ingredients to cook them four meals for £12, which... I think is absolutely fantastic. So it works out at £1.50 per portion. Um, yeah, it works out at like £1.50 per portion per person. And there's no way I could go to Aldi with £12 and get meals for like four separate meals, you know, for like me and Ross. I just couldn't do it. Um, so yeah, so for they have something like 70 daisy yes that was you wasn't it um they have something like 76 recipes they have new menus like every week um if you'd like to try it i've got a discount code which i'll put in the description um and it'll give you 65 percent off if you want to try it <coughs> Uh, my mum's just signed up. She's just treat us to, um, like, a box. And she got us the four meals for four people this time. Because, obviously, with Caden in mind. Um, and it only came to £17. Because my mum's, like, ordered us on for Saturday. 
Um, it works out at £1.11 per portion. Um, so like you say, it's working out at like £4.44 per meal. And that's for four of us. You know, and you can't you can't buy the stuff for that, can you? I think it's absolutely fantastic. Um, so what I'm what I'm gonna do when I get the box on Saturday, I'm gonna like do like an unboxing and I'll show you like exactly how they come and what comes in it and everything. Um But yeah, I think you know if you can get the 65% discount, it's well, well worth it. Um so like I say, if you do want to give it a go, if you just Click the link in the description and description description. You'll get your four meals for sixty five percent discount, um, and I think we get some um, money credited in, into our Gusto account as well. So you'll be helping us out as well, which will be a, a bonus. But like you say, you'll get you. I, I don't think you'll be disappointed. Um, but like I said, when we get the box, I will show you. Um, yeah, I've probably got a lot more to go into detail with you, but it's been a long day today. I'm absolutely shattered, but I've turned a corner. I've dealt with a lot of stuff that we had to get to. I feel, like you say, I feel a lot better. I, I did start to feel like I was, and, but I feel like now I've turned a corner and, you know, health-wise, I'm not feeling too great. Um, I've been getting awfully tired, like... Um, I rang my consultant secretary yesterday to just explain, like, how I've been feeling. Um, and I'm hoping she's going to ring me back at some point because I'm still waiting on these blood test results that I had back in May. Um... So, yeah, so, but if I hear anything, obviously, I'll update you. But I'll be back anyway very soon. But I just want you all to know, thank you so much for reaching out. And I am doing okay. I'm doing a lot better now. And, yeah. So, I'm going to get going anyway, because our food's going to be here in a minute. And I need to get in the bath. And I want to get this video edited so I can get it up. So, I hope you're all all right. Um... Let me know how you're doing because, you know, I really do like, I've started catching back up with my comments as well. So I'll get back on track with that. And yeah, anyway, I'm going to stop waffling because I'm going on and on and on now. Um, and I will catch up with you all again very, very soon. Take care. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye, bye, bye.